hello guys welcome to the channel in today's video we'll be looking at a tutorial on how to expose your local self-hosted services to the internet for free and uh, we'll be using cloudflare's tunneling services to achieve it and the major advantages of using this method is uh, you need not punch any holes in your router to achieve it so you need not do any port forwarding for uh, this cloudflare to work so once you install the services it should be able to point your uh, applications to the internet for this tutorial i'll be using my ubuntu server which is running on raspberry pi which is a part of my home lab setup and there is also another service which we'll be using called freenome we'll be using freenome to pick up a free domain name for ourselves and if you're serious about your uh, self-hosting needs you can also buy domain names which is suitable for you because freenome only provides domain names like uh, dot tk dot gq but uh, since uh, in this tutorial we are focusing on 100% free services we'll be using freeno so let's get started okay guys now i'm logged into my raspberry pi server where i have a couple of applications running inside docker which we are going to use for today's tutorial let's list down uh, the running docker containers so here you can see uh, grafana running in port 3000 and home assistant in port 8123 Mm, this is home assistant home page here now we are accessing it using our local ip and uh, this is grafana's home page ideally when you are uh, done with the setup you should be able to access these two services using your domain name so as a first step we'll register the domain name uh, usually domain name registration and the name server uh, changes takes around four to six hours to reflect so that's why for this tutorial i've already registered the domain name and pointed it to plotlab but uh, don't worry, I'll show you how to do it. So once you create an account with Freenome for yourself, you'll see this option called register domain name. Search for any domain name which you like, register it. It's, it is just a couple of steps. You need not give any credit card or anything. It's 100% free. And once you're done with this uh, domain name registration, I want you to open Cloudflare uh, dashboard parallelly. Okay, now here uh, we are in Cloudflare's dashboard. So I already have an account, so I'm going to log in. But if this is the first time you're uh, using this, you can create an account for yourselves. And once you log in, you will be greeted with this Cloudflare's dashboard. And as I mentioned earlier, I have already added my domain name here with Cloudflare. But uh, we can see how to add a new site which you just registered. So click on Add Site here. So for this test purpose, I'm just going to give a random domain name. But you should give the domain name which you just registered in Freno. Click on Add Site. Now it will show you some plans, but uh, don't worry. There is a free tier which we can select at the bottom. If you scroll down, you'll see free. Click on continue. It will scan for existing DNS. If we already changed the name server, it will scan for it. But since we didn't do it, it won't be able to find anything there. But uh, anyway, let's. Uh, See, it, it, it couldn't find any CNAME or any DNS record for our domain name. But click on DNS at the left side and scroll down and you'll see the name servers given here. Copy these two values, go back to Freenome and uh, here click on my domains and which will give you all the domain names which you registered. So what we are interested in is uh, jeffreyanto.tk which we are going to use for today's uh, tutorial. Click on manage domain right click on management tools and click on name servers so here you can see by default it will be uh, mentioned as use default name servers from freenome but we are going to use our own name server which is from cloudflare so click on use custom name servers and copy these two and paste it here and click on change name servers so i'm not going to click now since i've already changed it let's go back and check jeffreyanto.tk We'll ignore this jeffreyanto.gq we just created for uh, our tutorial. See jeffreyanto.tk it is already active. So please note that sometimes it takes around three to four hours for the name servers to be reflected. Sometimes it takes uh, only half an hour. So check back after a while. If it is still pending, you will see a mark like this called the pending uh, name server update. If it is successful, it should change to active like this. 
it is, if it is active, then we can proceed to the next steps. Click on your site. You will see some analytics coming up. Since your DNS is connected to Cloudflare, uh, these analytics are coming up. Now we are going to launch Cloudflare Zero Trust Dashboard. Click on Access at the left side. And you will see an option to launch Zero Trust Dashboard here. Click on Launch Zero Trust. Now this will redirect you to the Zero Trust Dashboard. Yeah. Now click on Access at the left side and you will see an option called Tunnels. Click on Tunnels. Here you will already see a tunnel running. Uh, we are not going to touch that today. Since we are going to create a new tunnel, we will click on Create a Tunnel. We are not going to use graphic interface to create a tunnel today because uh, the installation is much more easier using the CLI. So for the documentation, we will click on Learn More here, which will redirect you to the Cloudflare's documentation website and we will click on via command line here. So as I mentioned earlier, we are uh, going to do the installation in a Raspberry Pi machine. So we are going to select Linux for now. But if you are doing it on a different uh, machine, Cloudflare Tunnel support all type of operating system. So you can uh, select your suitable operating system. here. So uh, I think this is AMD 64. We are interested in ARM, right? So Raspberry Pi is ARM. So we'll click the downloads page and we'll grab the URL for ARM. So here you can see the option for .debian since we are running Ubuntu. Let me copy this link address and we will log into our Raspberry Pi server now. Now we are inside our Raspberry Pi server. Let's download the Cloudflare application. So as I mentioned, we are downloading the ARM version. We'll let it download. And once it is downloaded, we need to just install it as a straightforward process. So, pkg. We'll wait for a minute for this installation to complete. Now, the Cloudflare is installed. So, let us go back to the documentation and check the next step. So, authenticating Cloudflare. So, we'll copy this command, paste it in our Raspberry Pi's terminal. So, once you run this, it will give you an URL. So, you have to copy this URL and paste it in your browser. So that you can authenticate with your Cloudflare account. Once you log in, it will show you the list of domain names which you have. So for today's tutorial, we are going to use .tk. So I'm going to select that and click on authorize. So you will select whatever domain name you have selected for today. Yeah, now it is successfully authorized. Let's go back. And here you can see that it has saved the credential file in this location. Make a note of this one. We'll be using this location to configure some config files later. So let's go back to the document and check the next step. So the next step is creating the tunnel. So you can give any name for your tunnel which is relevant to your application. So I'm going to just create in the name called has. Let's run it. And again, you will see that the tunnel is created now. And it has stored the credential file, which is JSON format, in this particular location. Also, we need to make a note of this one as well. So, yeah, coming to step number five, we'll start routing the traffic. Just copy uh, this command since we are connecting to an application and paste it here. Uh, we need to change two things here. One is the UUID, uh, which or the name. So, here we'll give the name, which is uh, has name of the tunnel and the host name is jeffrey and tk now let's run it it should connect your dns to this tunnel see it is successfully connected since the connection is established now whenever you access jeffrey and tk cloudflare should automatically route the traffic through the tunnel to your raspberry pi but now we need to connect cloudflare to your applications as well so Cloudflare should know whenever someone accesses this jeffreyanton.tk, which port to forward to in your local network. So that is what we are going to do now. So we'll go back to the documentation. And uh, this ingress rules we need to set up is not in the same documentation which we are following. So you have to click on the configuration here. And you'll see option called ingress rules. Open it. 
and here you will see some examples how to route traffic so for example so here they have given on example this is the domain name and this is the local port in which the service is running so for us it is port 8123 which is the home assistant so we'll follow the same step and create it for ourselves so i've copied this documentation here and the port is 8123 as i mentioned we'll copy it so uh, if you noticed you have i have added here one extra line which is no tls verify equal to true because i'm not going to force ssl in my website but if you are going to force ssl you can enable it now let's go back to raspberry pi edit the same config.yaml and paste these values so now whenever you access this tunnel it should redirect your traffic to port 8123 inside your Raspberry Pi. Let's save it. We have completed all the configuration that is required for the tunnel to run. So all that is left for us to do is to start the tunnel itself. Let's start it now. Cloudflare tunnel run and then the name of the tunnel. Yeah, now we can see that the tunnel is uh, starting to spin up. Let's give it a minute and then we'll go to the browser. Once it is up, this is the domain name that we have configured. And if you remember correctly, uh, this should talk to Home Assistant when we run it. Perfect. You can see that now the jeffreyanto.tk domain name is con configured to connect to our Home Assistant running inside the Docker. The Home Assistant is up and running now. If you remember correctly in the beginning of the video we have decided to expose two applications one is home assistant another one is grafana so the root domain name jeffreyanto.tk is being used by home assistant now we need to create another subdomain so that we can point that to grafana so we'll head back to uh, cloudflare's dashboard not the zero trust the original cloudflare's dashboard and let me show you how to create a subdomain for yourself so here i'm selecting the domain name click on dns and here you will see a CNAME already created. So this CNAME would have been created when you have run the command from the CLI. So now we will create another CNAME with the subdomain name. Click on CNAME. Give any name. I will give graph. And the target is click on edit and copy the same target. This target is nothing but the name of your tunnel. Okay. And click on save. That's it. You have a subdomain name for yourself. Now we'll go back to Raspberry Pi and add the same configuration, the ingress rules. Open up config.yaml. Copy from the host name. Paste it. The host name here will give it as jeffreyanto.tk. Now, since we are going to change it, sorry, graph.jeffreyanto.tk and the port number for Grafana is 3000. Let's save it and start the tunnel again. Let it start. And now we'll check the graph dot tk. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I think it's uh, redirecting to Grafana. Perfect. Yeah, so final step we'll see how to run this cloud flight as a service because you can't go and manually start uh, the tunnel every time you want. So there's a straightforward step which you can follow. This is uh, just a single command cloud flight service install. And once you install it, you should be uh, able to see that the service is installed. You can check sudo service cloud flight status. You'll see that it is running. Uh, every time you restart your machine, it should automatically pick up. But you should also note that uh, once you install it as a service, the config file will be moved to this location. And in future, if you want to add any more uh, domain names or any other ports, you can change it in this location. 
So hopefully you found this uh, video useful. If you found it useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.